Hello guys, welcome back to our video. Finally we are starting a new let's play. I am finally refreshed from that British Empire one that I can start another one. This one we will be doing the Japan once again. This is like the second or third time. Although it's been a while, a very long time actually. It's been like half a year. So I can't wait to get into this one. Should be a pretty amazing let's play. We'll try to assert dominance over Asia, as well as uh, the Pacific really, maybe fight the US and so on. You know, we might do a lot of stuff. So yeah, first thing we're gonna do is invade China. We're not gonna invade the Manchukuo or anything, we're gonna invade China. And we gotta get ready for that. We're gonna build some uh, light tanks for that, these are very useful, as well as uh, infantry and artillery as well. We also bring our troops from the Japanese mainland over to here so we can, you know, take out China actually. Let's uh, build some infantry over here. Or we could very well do motorized infantry, although we're gonna do infantry because we have a lot of buffs on those. Let's build infantry over here too and over here in Qingdao we're gonna build some artillery which is also buffed on this doctrine. We're gonna make a strong offensive over here towards central China, a smaller one into the south and a pretty strong one from the north as well. So we're gonna be focusing here on these five cities really, which will just cripple their production and really win us the war. The war shouldn't be hard at all, we're gonna invade them tomorrow and within like two or three days they will be gone. Hopefully no one else will, uh, you know, join the war. Nobody should really. Let's bring one of our cruisers over here so we can bomb their units if they come here. France is asking to be allies, although I'll still see about that. Although I am quite interested in uh, Indochina, so I definitely might not take that. Let's bring our navy over here as well. We're going to want to take out the Chinese navy and bomb their units too. We have a large air force, well, not really large, but it's decently sized and with it we can get an advantage which would be really good let's put some units over here let's get like uh, a nice bit over to this province which will actually go over here and uh, push into uh, Xi'an and uh, Chongqing and Chengdu maybe since we're gonna make this in seven hours I'm also gonna take both of these units and put them over here I'm also gonna take this one put it over here and this one over here this should be pretty lightly defended over here this is gonna be harder to penetrate though, not too hard though, definitely not. Let's go to the south now, we'll try to advance towards uh, this city over here first and then over here, that the, that's the main goal. So let's uh, put our troops over here, there we go, and this one will go over here. Put some pressure over here with the help of this unit as well, which if they put their units over here is gonna be from this city, which means with this one we could definitely uh, be able to take Gillen over here. Let's also get uh, this infantry unit over here and let's uh, keep it defensive. This anti-tank, we're not gonna use this anti-tank though, not gonna be needed. These units from Shanghai can go over here, prepare to fight here. Let's also get more from here, let's get uh, this infantry and this armored car over here. The infantry too. Let's get this fighter over here as well. Gonna take this infantry from Nagasaki and put it over here. To go through here, pass their defenses over here. This motorized infantry can go over here. It will push towards Wuhan with the help of some other units too. Let's put these here. Let's also use some more infantry from the mainland for a push towards here. And we have two more. Let's get one here and another one over here. Let's take this troop from this island and let's put it over here too, just so we have enough. If Japan takes out China, they can become way too strong, like an undisputed power of Asia. So we can do that, we can expand elsewhere too easily. I'm probably gonna go after Manchukuo and then European colonies and stuff. So yeah, before we end it, let's look at the economy. We're producing a, uh, not that much stuff, but we're not gonna need it, let's invest in the economy first. Some industry in Tokyo, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Let's level up uh, goods and food too. There we go, alright. Nice. Let's also level up uh, this tank plant here in Beijing, could come in useful. And let's get better light tanks too, and artillery as well. Actually we won't need to upgrade this, 
The production time will be higher because of the upgrade, although it's gonna be less than 24 hours, I'm not gonna be here very often. So let's stop that. I'm here only every 24 hours, so no need. Let's uh, use Taipei 2 to make some artillery. And Nagasaki and Osaka for some infantry. Tokyo 2. There we go. That's probably enough. Let's uh, make some artillery here too. And that's gonna be it. So yeah, I think that's gonna be enough for the war. Let's also bring this fleet over to here to help us. Alright. That's gonna be it for this video. We're just preparing to invade China and tomorrow we will. So yeah. I'm gonna end it right here. Thanks so much for watching. And goodbye.